Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Texas. We just got done at this lovely mill. I can't remember exactly what his name is. I'll put it right here. But fantastic breakfast and everything. Very good. Um, it's old corn and um, wheat field. Um, I try to look at the name, but anyway, here's the building. It's really unique looking. I really thought it was cool. It's from the 1851. So very cool. And then they have this whole factory right here, which is really cool if you look right there. It has a tower that looks like an old castle. Very cool. So we just had lovely biscuits and gravies from and, and like all the classic eggs and whatnot. Very classic, very good. And now we're gonna go explore the rest of town. This was a very hot mess of a start, but we'll get going. It's good. We're gonna have fun. There's the old grinder. Fun stuff. And also look how cool this view is. It's very nice. Like river. Oh, it's nice in the air. It's probably about 70 degrees. Good times all around. And I just got told, so the giant castle right there, they actually used to put fake cannons around the top of it because it looks like a castle and that's how cool it is. So we just arrived at the Alamo. Look how cool this is. There's all these little plaques around here and all these cool stuff. So let's go check out the Alamo and see if it really does have a basement. So they got all these um, plaques around here from start to finish of how the Alamo began and like how it built up and then how it fell apart, up and down, up and down. It's really cool looking little models. Yeah. I got told I need to start the camera because we go. I heard we are heading to oh, guys. It is. It's the Alamo, the Alamo with a million people in front of it. There we go. <laughs> it's the Alamo. That's kinda cool. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, that's pretty cool. So we just got out of the Alamo. It's a really cool looking building. It's kind of sad, it's kind of falling apart. Apparently it's all made out of limestone and it's just decaying after the year. So they're trying to restore it right now. But it's a really cool little building. Um, not a lot in there, but a lot of like little history things. Like you can see who was bought here. You can see Davy Crockett was in there, which is really cool. I was in the same building as Davy Crockett was in. That's kind of weird to think. That's really cool, I actually thought. I just thought that. That's a really cool little thought. But yeah. Very cool little building, so we're gonna take a look around the gardens and whatnot and still check out. But if you ever get a chance, it's a very cool little stop by and it's free too, so that's always helpful. I think this is my favorite thing at the gift shop right now. There's a shot glass of the Alamo and the glass doesn't come out. And it's sixteen dollars. It's really funny. Well dang, they got a whole Alamo tree here. Just in time for Christmas. Fantastic. You got snow globes, you got what little Alamo um, ornaments. It's kind of funny to me. I don't know why. So it was really cool. So I just found out that, oh, that's really bright. So that most of the places built in the 1930s, um, a lot of it was a lot of reconstruction, rebuilding a lot of it. But there's still two buildings from the original Alamo, of course, the church, and then the middle ground between it. So it was very cool looking. Um, my favorite part, they have these historians over here that are like just explaining everything and it's just really cool little facts around this whole area. Just got them watching a video, how pretty much a whole bunch of women came over here and saved the Alamo from being destroyed and not turned into a hotel. So that's a very cool little fact. So we just got out of the library. That library is so cool. It has so much of like Davy Crockett's. I feel like a kid back in the 50s who's so excited to see everything that Davy Crockett's in there. They had his real hair in there. They had his guns in there and such other cool weapons in there as well. Like the Alamo Museum was really neat. Like if you get a chance to ever go to Alamo, check out. It's all free. Go support them. Give them a couple dollars because it is such a cool little place. And I'll keep showing off as much as I can. But this is such a cool place. And there's a couple areas I can't film in, but you know, come check out for yourself because it's that cool. So right here, there's the apricot tree that's from 1853. That's so cool. And then there's all the people. Re like telling the history of it. It's so cool, go listen to those people. They're, they tell so much cool facts about everything. Also, they had giant koi fish in these little river going through here. They are quite big. Oh, hello. It's pretty cool they have all these statues of all these famous people in the battle. I really like the David Crockett one right over there. Really cool. So that'll do it for us, our time here at the Alamo. That was really cool. So we're gonna keep exploring around the rest of the day. But the Alamo, super cool place. Come visit, really fun.
it is like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. There's dinosaurs here. I go to the Alamo and then you go right to dinosaurs. 